So welcome back to the Men That Can podcast. Obviously, we're looking to inspire men all around the world to make a change and to be their best version of themselves through creating more self-awareness or greater self-awareness and gaining clarity around who they are as an individual. And we're doing this by sharing my own experiences, my personal experiences and demons and battles and how I overcame that, but also having some guest speakers on to share what they've gone through and uh, those experiences to help you know, men all around the world see that you know, obviously their individual challenges are you know, their own, but men all around the world are going through similar things and we can band together to help you know, ultimately drive all of us to be in our best version of ourselves. So on today's episode, get to talk about why changing your environment may be the best thing you ever did or ever do, okay, because it was definitely one of the best things I ever did uh, while I was trying to create change. So enjoy the episode, guys. Once again, if you love these, please leave a review, share it with people who you feel need to hear it, and definitely send me any DMs through Instagram on topics you'd like to hear talk about or recommend some people that you think would be great for the show. Thanks, guys. So today's topic, as you can see there, for those who are going to be catching this as a podcast, uh, thanks for taking the time to tune in and subscribe once again. If you're getting value from these uh, Instagram lives or podcasts, would appreciate, you know, likes, supports, comments, reviews on the podcast or even just on recent posts to help get the message out there. But today we're going to be talking about why changing your environment may be the best possible thing you can do. And it's relevant. So this morning I had a a coaching call or a consult coaching call with a, a client uh, from Roma, Roma is probably five hours west from where I am here in Brisbane. It's a country town, um, and I've worked with this guy probably over a year ago. Okay, and he was suffering, you know, from depression, anxiety, uh, you know, lacking self worth. His physical health had taken, you know, a huge hit purely because he was just confused with where he was going. Right, and um, hey, everyone who's tuning in, uh, and. You know, we got him back on track. We got him in a really good mindset, okay? And he started, you know, focusing on you know, improving his physical health. He was back in the gym. He was starting to eat better, right? But then, you know, obviously after our time had finished, he sort of fell off the wagon again, okay? Now, why we're talking about environment? Because what happens, guys? And one of the things that I see time and time again, and I experienced it myself, and I've you know, made the change in environment to make sure that I make it easier to stick to the changes that I want to make. Hey everyone, how you doing? Um, to the changes that I want to make is because I'm fortunate enough and I know a lot of you guys who are following me uh, get advice, get experience, get feedback from the stuff that I post, right? And the lifestyle that I lead. Now, what I want to be honest about is for me, I'm fortunate enough to be in a position where my job is in you know mental well-being, like I work on mindset, personal development and also fitness and exercise so that is what my day works around okay so for people who watch and see the things that i do while they aspire to you know some of you guys aspire to be like that to have the clarity if you know that's what you look at or um be in physical shape you've got to keep in mind that that's what i do day in day out right i um, you know, my job isn't in something like most other, uh, something else like most people, right? Most of you have a job that you have to go to from nine to five or seven till four or whatever it is. Like you've got something that takes you away from that. And, you know, fortunately or unfortunately, a lot of people are doing things that they don't necessarily want to be doing. It's almost like a necessary evil to pay bills or to get them to where they want to go, right? So I understand that. And I think you guys need to be Adrian, how you doing? Really trying to work out what that is for you. All right, so the guy I was talking to this morning from Roma, he, you know, works out on the rigs. So I think his roster was 10 and 4. Okay? So he has four days back and he actually enjoys being away on the mines more because he's away from the drugs, away from the alcohol, away from all the, you know, the things that he's addicted to at the moment, gambling, stuff like that. 
Okay, so actually being at work is a good thing for him at the moment. It's a good environment. But when he comes back home, he falls back in that rut. He's, you know, sort of alone with his own thoughts and he has nothing to distract him. So he use, uses addiction, you know, whether it's gambling, drugs, alcohol, to sort of take his mind off the things that really he needs to work through. And I know we've all got stuff to work through and I was just in a flow tank. So I was just like, fuck. Here we go again with the thoughts, which is fine, but it's stuff we need to actually start to process, guys. And most people have stuff that we have suppressed from childhood traumas, from, uh, you, you know, different aspects of our life. And we aren't wanting to deal with it. And often, a lot of the time, we forget it even is there, right? But that's why mindfulness and actually taking that time to figure out who the fuck you are starts bringing new things back and it can get uncomfortable and often people stop, right? When it gets, when they start making traction or having progress, they stop because it gets uncomfortable. They don't like what's coming up. I get that. That's why most people don't do it. But if you see how most people are, unfortunately, most people, like I've said a million times, are unhealthy, unhappy, not in relationships they want to be in, not in uh, jobs they want to be in. Okay, we're not where we want to be. So until we start doing something differently, until we start you know, breaking through that, we're not going to get to where we want to be. Right, so why I've said the topic here today is changing your environment may be the best thing. Most of us don't have enough time in the day to you know, prioritize physical health and to prioritize your mental and emotional health. Okay, so... You know, for example, someone who has to start work at 7 a.m. and finishes at 5 has kids. You may only have 15 minutes a day where you can do some personal development, where you can do some, you know, whether it's meditation, a morning routine, something to work on your mind and your emotional emotions. So, okay, then you might be able to squeeze in a half an hour workout to work on your physical health. Right, so all up, that's 45 minutes a day you get for yourself. Okay, and if that's your situation, you know, that's your situation. That's what you've got, to, you've got to work with whatever it is that you've got. You can't just say, I don't have enough time. You make the most of it. And I would suggest if you're watching this right now, you're probably better off doing some personal development, even though this is probably considered that. Right, but what you can do, and this is why we come back to the environment. What you can do, if you change your environment to hang around positive, motivated people who, you know, are healthy people, mentally strong people, happy people, focused people, or just find people who live and breathe the values that you want to adopt, subconsciously you're going to start doing that, right? So all of a sudden, that 45 minutes that you had a day um, for your physical, mental, and emotional health turns into you now hanging out with people, you know, most of the day who embody that. So you're going to start picking up and understanding their physiology, how they act, how they think, how they talk, and you're going to start mimicking that. That's what people do. We generally become the sum of the five people. You know, five people. You've heard that. The people we hang around the most will start, you know, doing things that they do. That's just what we do. We want to fit in. Okay. So if you can change your environment, if you're in an environment that is, you know, leading you astray, you're doing drugs when you don't want to be doing it. You're drinking a heap of alcohol when you don't want to be doing it. You're, you know, gambling when you want to, don't want to be doing it. And, it, you know, you say, my, my friends all do it, it's okay. Well, it's time to fucking take responsibility and say, righto, this is not what I want. Unfortunately, you've got to a point in your life where you've outgrown these people. And it's nothing against these people. It's just way, it's you taking responsibility and saying, I'm better than this. I don't want to be like this anymore. It's time for me to change. And in order for you to change and make it easier on yourself, what I did was I completely changed my environment. Changing my environment was the best thing, even though it was so uncomfortable for me because I had to make new friends. I was nervous for what my old friends would think about me. Ultimately, making that change has amplified my life tenfold, amplified who I am as a person tenfold. And the way I was living five years ago where I lacked self-confidence, lacked self-esteem, lacked direction and purpose, and I fucking hated myself and to sum it up, it's like that, 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 that person doesn't exist anymore. I'm in an environment with people who fill my cup up, who challenge me, who support me, who call me on my shit. And that's the best thing possible because it allows me to hold myself to a standard and I have those people to keep me accountable because we often lack so much accountability. 
So if you're sitting there right now and you're listening to this and you're like, well, I just can't do that. You gotta ask yourself why. You've gotta have that tough conversation with yourself. Is it because you're really not willing to change? If you're happy with how your life is right now, that's fine, keep it, keep it where it is. But if you're not, if you're one of those people who reach out to people like me to get advice, you may wanna take a good hard look at the environment you're hanging out in because that can often be the biggest influence on you. And if you know, doing things you don't wanna do, if you're attracting the wrong people into your life, it stems back to that because we all talk about willpower. We all talk about being strong enough to say no and make our own decisions. We're adults, we're responsible, I get that. But when you're surrounded by people who you may feel the peer pressure, you may feel left out, we all want acceptance, right? If you're feeling that way, you're not gonna make the best decisions for yourself. It's not gonna happen. So it's time to take responsibility, start having a look at your environment, seeing if it is allowing you to be the best version of yourself, okay? And if it is, awesome. If it's not, start making some fucking changes. So I hope you guys have found this uh, helpful for those who watch it back. Thanks for tuning in. For those who are listening on the podcast, thank you for tuning in. And I look forward to reading your reviews, having some DMs on Instagram and chatting to you guys in the future. See you tomorrow. Thank you for listening to the Man That Can Project podcast. My name is Lockie Stewart and I hope you enjoyed this episode and found it helpful. If you did, please take a moment to rate and review the Man That Can Project on your favorite podcast platform and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with our newest episodes. We'll see you again next time.